Are you a small business owner? Then you're in the right place. I'm here to help you choose the best website builder for your business, and I've tested each of them to help save you time. In this video, I'll talk you through everything you need to make your decision, including pricing, features, and what they're like to build with. The right builder for you depends on your specific needs and goals, so keep these in mind as we go through the top five builders. Let's get started. First up is Shopify. This is my top recommendation for building and running a small business website. This popular builder is designed to help businesses sell online, so it's best for selling your products or services. If you're not selling through your business website, though, you won't get the most out of Shopify. Check out the next builder instead. Shopify has the best sales features on the market. Highlights include inventory management and tax calculation, making it a very scalable option for growing businesses. You can sell through your store and integrate with a bunch of other channels, like marketplaces and social media. It has a huge app market too, for any extra features you need. When I used Shopify, I liked that it got me to start adding my products before designing my storefront. This means you can build your design around your products, rather than getting too swept up in the color and font choices. I used Shopify Magic to generate product descriptions for me, which was a great time saver. But it took me a little while to get used to Shopify's section-based design editor because of its pretty limited flexibility. My advice? Don't rush your setup if you choose this builder. So how much does Shopify cost? Shopify's cheapest plan costs $29 per month, which is the one I recommend starting with. This lets you sell an unlimited number of products and comes with marketing tools. You get a three-day free trial and your first month costs just $1. If you decide to use Shopify payments, you won't have to pay transaction fees either. But what if you're only selling one or two products or not selling at all? In this case, Wix could be a great fit for your small business. Wix stands out for its extensive marketing tools, perfect for growing your brand. Wix comes with tons of useful features built in, making it easy to manage all your marketing efforts in one place. For example, it comes with email marketing tools, and you can even create and schedule social posts to share across your channels. Wix also creates a personalized SEO plan for you to help beginners master the basics of ranking in Google's search results. Choosing my Wix template was simple, although with over 900 to choose from, there was almost too much choice. I found it easier to use the filters and search bar to narrow down my options. A word of caution though, once you've published your site, you can't change your template, so take your time and pick a design you like. Once I opened the editor to personalize my template, at first I found it a little overwhelming. Wix's sheer number of features and customization options can make it daunting for beginners. But I found its drag and drop tools super easy to use and quickly got to grips with customizing my site. I could drag anything anywhere, so I had total creative control over the look of my brand. If the thought of handling too much web design puts you off, I recommend trying Wix's AI chatbot instead, which creates your site for you. Wix has a free plan, which is great for trying it out to see if it's the right builder for you. But I would say that businesses should upgrade to a paid plan before publishing their site. This is because Wix's free plan has limitations. It displays Wix ads on your website and won't let you use a custom domain. Not great for your professional image. Wix's cheapest plan costs $17 per month, billed annually, and removes both of these issues. If you have a little more in your budget, I'd recommend the core plan since it unlocks basic sales tools and allows you to accept bookings. Next up is Squarespace. This is hands down the easiest website builder I've tested, making it ideal for beginners. I was also really impressed by its template designs, which look modern and stylish, perfect for creative service businesses. Picking out my template was quick and easy thanks to its handy preview feature, and once I'd made my choice, I can use the editor to personalize the colors, fonts, text, and layout. My favorite part of using Squarespace is its handy grid guidelines. These stop your design becoming cluttered, which is a common mistake that web design newbies make. 
Squarespace isn't built for large online stores, but it does come with great features for your small business. Email marketing, SEO, and invoice creation are included on all plans. The thing I love about Squarespace is how consistent your branding is across all these separate parts of your customer journey. Your emails and invoices will be personalized to your own brand image. So how much do you pay for Squarespace? The bad news is there's no free plan, but you can try Squarespace free for 14 days, which should be plenty of time to see if you like it. Squarespace's paid plans range from $16 to $52 per month, billed annually. I recommend the business plan for $23 per month rather than the cheapest plan. Why? Well, it comes with a professional email from Google, better site analytics, and basic e-commerce. I also recommend checking out a couple of paid add-ons, Acuity Scheduling for taking appointments, and the Digital Products add-on for lower fees when you sell content and memberships. If all the builders so far have sounded a little too hands-on, GoDaddy could be a good one to look into. It provides a helping hand for busy entrepreneurs or tech novices. For small businesses, GoDaddy launched GoDaddy Aero, an AI-powered tool you can use for free to help you build a website, set up marketing campaigns, generate a social media calendar, optimize your site for SEO, and more. GoDaddy's always aimed to help entrepreneurs, so its features focus heavily on helping you set up and supporting your growth. When I set up my own GoDaddy website, I completed its onboarding process in under 30 seconds. Its editor is easy to use, but if you want a lot of customization, you might be disappointed. GoDaddy serves beginners and is easy to use, but for more unique designs and more personalization options, I recommend Wix or Squarespace. GoDaddy has a free plan, although as always, I would recommend upgrading for a professional business website. Its three plans range from $10.99 to $20.99 per month. GoDaddy is the best value builder on this list, thanks to its affordable prices paired with business-focused features. Finally, we have Hostinger. This builder is perfect if you're selling or running your business as a side hustle. This is because of its time-saving AI features and cheap prices. When it comes to Hostinger, I have to talk about its suite of AI tools. Its website builder is powered by AI, meaning creating your site is quick and easy, but it also provides plenty of built-in AI tools to save time running your website too. My favorite AI features include its AI writer for helping you with creating copy for your site, as well as its blog post generator and logo maker. What struck me when using Hostinger is just how beginner friendly it is. Thanks to its AI tools, even a total beginner can have a ready-made website in under 60 seconds. So what's the catch? Well, the downside of this quick building process is you sacrifice template quality and customization. Hostinger also has pretty basic features compared to the others. For example, I was disappointed to find out it doesn't have an app market or any email marketing tools. Hostinger is perfect if you're on a budget, since it only has two plans. The cheapest costs just $2.99 per month. The other costs $3.99 per month, which is the one I would recommend because it comes with e-commerce features and its suite of AI tools. And that's it. The five best website builders for small businesses, from Shopify to Hostinger. You should now have an idea of which one best suits your needs and budget. Next, go and give your favorite option a try. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.